Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back once again playing the um, loveliness of the. Uh, um, it's been a while, so I'm not a hundred percent sure what I left off to do. I remember though looking at these guys that are at the ancient wood. So stating that I was going to construct a bunch of stuff, if I recall correctly. I believe if I go... I was going to try and build up the cabbage field, and I believe the manager in the, the meeting hall as well, and maybe the herbalist hut? Oh, the herbalist hut's good, so... I needed, um, I'm gonna pull up my handy dandy calculator real quick. Okay, so let's see. So if I'm gonna build the cabbage field, if I'm gonna redo the cabbage field, I need 25 uh, ancient wood. And then we need 40 from you. And then we need from the manager 25. So we need about 90 ancient wood. Um, if we then go into here, uh, every two turns we get five. So divide 90 by five and then times that by two. So 36 turns or so. So that shouldn't be too bad. All right, uh, I mean, we do have the medicine and the medic, so it shouldn't be too hard, correct? Yeah, we got three health for it, too, on two people, so that's real good. Got some more supplies here. I also am using a different mouse. I'm using the mouse that I actually have at my house as well, so that's really, really nice. Okay. How is Expedition 1 doing over here? We got 15 so far. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, is there anything they don't need? I mean, what is this here? Uh huh. I mean, it's technically better. That's. But you can't equip it up to two in the light. I think that's better. It's better in armor, force, and shielding. That's better shielding, but you can't equip it. That's worse shielding. Better armor and gives you shielding, can't equip. Better shielding, worse armor. Better everything, and you can't equip it. Fantastic. So we're gonna, we're gonna dismantle that. And that should give them a bit more. Yeah, their their carrying light's pretty much maxed out at this point, so it's okay. I'm gonna look at something else real quick while they are out collecting. So for the meeting hall, we were gonna build this, I believe, out of the best like shh, material for like vegetables. Because Dragon Bones is the best bone to get and build that out of. <coughs> I don't know what that attracts, though. Like, what What are the... Do I have any, like, actual good bones? I've got two different types of bones here. So if we build it out with just really crappy bones there, it gives us that. And building it out of monster bone gives us an attract beast. I'm not sure what enchanted bones or dragon bone would do. But I'm sure as well we could kind of tell. And then from here, dragon leather is probably your best bet here as well for that second material. But I mean we should, if I go out and obtain... Um... 
nimble wood. So if I get a whole bunch of nimble wood, do I? Actually, do I? Have any? Let me check this before I send the calculations in. Okay, I don't. And for nimble wood, I don't have any nimble wood as well. So if we were to build a meeting hall, we would need, it looks like 50. Plus, probably 30 there. And then get the manager at. 30 as well, so we need 110 of nimble wood, which is quite a lot, but I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, right? Okay, so we're at 20 ancient wood there, not too bad, not too bad. And we're slowly going up. So I was also looking at something before I started this recording as well. And that <coughs> when this game is full screen for me, I actually um, can't see um, how effective the uh, recording, or when I have it full screen, the recording doesn't get the full effectiveness of the uh, game, which is kind of interesting. Uh... We'll do this in actual combat because I'm not too sure how well these guys are gonna do. But I mean, again, I also don't know how strong these guys are. It's only a two, so they aren't gonna be like really strong. Do that. Make sure he doesn't take too much damage here. And then we'll put down you, you, and you. Use and then we'll just put on them in and see how that goes. Nice, no one actually took any real damage there. What do we get here? Oh, it's f it looks like just food. I was really confused on what that was, because I didn't I've never seen that before. I guess it's just a food type of food. Seven scavengers, oh my. Okay, I wanted to get this guy up in here, but I didn't. She's really weak though, but like there's seven of them. Jesus. I mean, I. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put him in, and then we're gonna first action him. And then. Shield. Confuse, confuse. They got a pretty hefty attack, because they have poison on them. But they don't, they don't have too much health, so it's not so problemly. We did take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Did get a pretty interesting sword there. It's a pretty good turn and axe, but I mean, it's not that good for me. Is there anything else that these guys are collecting? Just meat and ancient wood. Yeah, because I do remember picking up the production of swords yeah so that's it that's all i have for swords nothing too special there so we will leave that be because i do want to get to the two-handed swords and then get some armor and stuff going because then i can start actually making my people really strong okay Wow, that's that. Ouch. Hmm. Wow. There. These guys are tough. Oof. Shield him. 
Okay, so let's put you down, and then we'll first action you. And then we'll place down you, and give you a first action. And then... I guess. Shield you first action you. And we'll see how this goes. Ugh. I mean we killed that one guy, but there's a lot of work to do with these guys here. Damn. Cause he's got eight punches of leeching right there as well. So he's not too bad. We'll put you down because you have the biggest again shield, but it's probably Best push you down right there. Add a bit of 10 damage there. And then we will first action you. And. Confuse you. Places down the next card. Confuse him. Place down these guys. And we will then put him into the fight. Okay. Yeah, we got a guy bleeding there. Nice. Uh, pretty good bow there. Uh, let's give that to their Stiga Master there, and how are we doing? Hey, so we lost our medic. It's okay. Um, it could have been worse. We could have lost our Stiga, who's actually kind of probably keeping them alive. We got 55 ancient wood right now. Okay. Getting a whole bunch of meat over there as well. Sixty-five now. Seventy. So now we should have seventy-five. Uh, we'll, think we'll investigate it. We'll hunt them. Make sure we get them. Cool. Should be at 80 now. Four more turns. Cool. Let's try and outrun that. That's good. Insect's always helpful <clears throat> in the long run. So when you get to later parts in the game, it actually becomes really, really nice to have in select in your group. Alright, so we will run these guys back to town. Um, we'll gather them. Yeah, let's, let's attack this big old spider by surprise. Uh, we'll auto resolve it because we shouldn't really have a problem. So we got sturdiness. Don't really need sturdy it. sturdiness. And everything else is pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> and turn. Move on. We are moving pretty slow due to the fact that these guys are over encumbered by. Over. 3,000, pretty much. They aren't really caring much either. We have a new warrior at the town, not too bad. Uh, we will send her to gather with our Stiga, Striga for now, and we will continue moving these guys back to town. We have more skeletons. We're going to auto-resolve that because I don't feel like we should um, do another quick fight here. 
put these guys into town real quick, all the way into town. Alright. And now we go to our equipment screen here. Where is our new warrior who just joined us? Is it this girl? I believe it is. Okay. You can have that. Uh, your hammer is probably the best bet there. Can I give you anything? Who needs intelligence? I mean, let me see how it is a shielding mask. You don't need a shielding mask. She could use a shielding mask. And then give him some more gathering. Give you that, I guess. It's not too bad. And that should be everything. We shouldn't need anything else there. All right. Now, we don't want to burn our ancient wood that we just gathered, because that will suck. We're going to make a new expedition. Uh, we're going to bring most of our warriors here. Uh, we'll bring our new warrior, see how she is, and what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So you can bring probably a few more guys. We'll leave our, our really healthy guys to make the um, defending a little easier. And then we'll gather ten wood for our group and then grab a whole bunch of food. Never go too light on food. Uh, we have a child that can grow into a medic when we're done with him. So that'll be pretty... Pretty good. We'll bring a bunch of bread, because why not? Alright, what do we got here? I think that's all we need. Alright, that's fantastic. So we'll break contact there. And our nimble wood is over here again so we what is this silver okay and we will move on friend needs to uh stop playing war thunder all right take some cover We got tremors and God, damn giant walking through. Just everything. You have my axe. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Lubo got injured. What is that for, real quick? Is that. Yeah, we attracted a dwarf. Pretty cool. Dwarves are really cool because they have a lot of damage, a lot of strength, and they're pretty crafty, so... We just got ourselves pretty much a free crafter who's going to make our lives so much better. Uh, who's the best gather out of our um, group there? She is. And then we'll throw our dwarf into our group there. Uh, you can gather that, you can gather that. We'll put you down here as well, actually. And then... We'll put... I don't think we need any wood for right now. We should be good there. 
And then this group, let's actually invest the graveyard and do something pretty awesome and productive instead of gathering for a bunch. You discover the remains of an old graveyard in the center. You see a burnt down ruins of what could have been a place of worship. Likely belonging to immigrants from the Western lands as as it is not the custom of your people to build such places. You search the graveyard and among much rubble and forgotten gravestones, you discover a perfectly reservoir crypt with some elvish writing upon it. The lid is secured with ironclad hinges and silver chains. So let's go to try and open it real quick. <coughs> You open the crypt and walk down several steps until the, you reach the dusty centre. A silver coffin lies wide open, empty, but you feel someone's eyes upon you. From the shadows steps out a deformed creature, tall yet twisted in knots, its skin dried out and flaking, its veins exposed, empty yet strongly pliable, its eyes red shot with hunger and its mouth filled with rows of razor sharp teeth and long protruding fangs so this is a four skull fight now i believe i have a three skull fighting team so this could be very challenging i also don't know how many of these things i have to fight so right now i'm going to run away and i believe this still will leave the opportunity open to me all right so we got Got a bit more of our big hitters up in the front group. That's pretty good. Alright, what do we got here? 17 and 11. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, get more of our kind of big heavy hitters out there just so this becomes a little easier. Uh, she's most likely not going to go out. We can confuse a bit here as well. Alright, what do we want to do now? Um, do we have a, right, we have a counter tactic that works, so let's confuse, and then we'll confuse the next card that comes out, and we will end our turn. I'm just gonna wail. Hey, alright, so we got a little bit more, we got two cards to fight here, so he's gonna place out that. Guys, um, I don't have any counter. Oh, let's counter tactic that guy actually, and then we'll just spam out all of our cards. Awesome. So we got we got some bonus strengths there, and oh no, that does actually destroy. It. That's okay. Um, wasn't the end of the world right there. So I'm going to try and run these guys before the end of the episode all the way to where I'd like them to be. Uh, we now have a new medic back at town. Awesome. So what do we got here? We got some bandits trying to attack me. Uh, let's fight these guys. They can't take my crap. So their bandit captain's pretty strong, actually. She's not too bad, but is she good enough for my team? Probably not. I mean, I got a 53 attack with a 13 shield covering him. And we're just blailing on top of that even more. We have a big, pretty big hammer there. And we can even first action our hammer. We can confuse a bunch of people here. We can shield and do a bit more confusing and now we're just gonna start wailing on each other awesome so we do have her actually bleeding out as well it's not the best of my interest to have a bleeding out member of my team <coughs> so we're gonna quickly throw these guys down and we're just gonna quickly throw everybody to gather vegetables and we will see how this next turn goes all right 
and she did survive the night, which is really good to hear. We will uncamp and continue on with our travels here. We did get another... Uh, let's move the rubble, take this stuff and leave. I should have buried them, but that was my fault for um, not paying attention to the context of what fully was going on. That's okay, though. So... Who is not doing anything? Our medic here. You can just gather wood on your own. You have a really strong axe back. Damn. What's with a super strong axe? That's cool. Alright. And we will continue on. Alright, uh, we'll leave the creature because it should give us some boost. Give us a will boost. That's really good to see. Uh, come on. Come on. What do we got? We got some bats and stuff. Let's see where this shooting star leads us. Two arms and we'll fight the spider queen. Porgies. Rejoice and leave. And we get a whole, whole bunch of good stuff. Alright. And then we'll fight these guys in sickness. We win. And we will get rid of that. We got a poison axe from a sickness challenge. That's kind of funny. Alright, so again, we will continue on. We will camp up for the trip here. We'll camp right there and get mining. And I'm going to put in a little thing here so I remember what these guys are here to do. Alright, and camp gather get our best gatherers on that nimble wood and everybody else can enjoy mushrooms awesome so we only have hmm, i realized we only had nine people oops but you inventory change the expedition name to 110 nimble nimble wood look firm and now that, and now when we come back, I know that this group here is ready to obtain a hundred nimble wood, when we, 110 nimble wood to be exact, when we get back. And then we will be building our meeting hall manager and a new cabbage field for our people, which will be really fantastic to see and do. And, uh, so yeah, once again, though, the, uh, the meeting hall gets us sages and stuff. The manager gets us animal kinship people, so these pe are people really good at giving your people better damage in a fight while taking them out. So, like, they're, like, they're really good in your tactical hand for buffing damage of a player who already has a lot of damage. And I remember I, I was playing a game, and I gave a guy with a hammer, like, he had, like, 150 damage, because I had, like, three hunters in my group, and he was, he was just running around hitting people like a truck. It was pretty awesome. So, Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you guys enjoy it. It was a lot of fun again playing this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a really good take on how this game really works. And there's a lot of story driven quests and stuff to it. So I can stop and talk. And instead of hitting next turn every 10 seconds trying to get materials built up. In between those material runs. I can sit there and talk to you guys. And read scripts and stuff that I see fit. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Do check out my playlist over this video stuff of Thea the Awakening. And I'll see you guys in that next video.